and I'm here today. My name is Mike Cable. I'm my assistant Mario, who's been with me for three years. I'm a, a horseshoer by trade, three generations. I've been shoeing horses on my own for 15 years. And a lot of problems we have with race horses and pleasure horses and standard breads and trotters and pacers and riding horses and show horses, they have a tendency to come up sore in the feet or they have a tendency to slip too much. So what I designed the slapper pad with my assistant, we come up with a pad that keeps them from slipping but also gives them protection if they have any foot problems, such as foundered, dropped sole, bruises, cut too short, corns in the corner of the feet, broken bars, wall separation, quarter cracks, navicular, and um, we had very good luck with the, the old style flip-flop, but they didn't have the grooves and the knobs to keep them from slipping. So we designed the pad with the same concussion and protection, but more grab so they don't slip. When a horse slips, they injure soft tissues and strain their legs and tendons. So what I'm gonna do today with this thoroughbred, he's a retired thoroughbred, his name is Hunter. We're gonna put a pair on him because he has some tender feet and he's an older horse. He has a lot of arthritis in his legs and feet. So we're gonna put these on today and see how the girl who owns them, how she likes them when she rides them in the show ring today. Thank you. Oh, a pacer from Palmer Park Racetrack. He has real sore, flat feet. He broke a coffin bone in this left front foot. He has broken bars in both front feet. So we put bar shoes on him and heel pads, but he's still sore. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna put this flip-flop pad on that we designed to get him sound to race. He's not gonna race this week because he's too lame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate how we put the shoe on and the pad and we'll show you the, show you the final results. He's very flat-footed like a lot of horses, especially race horses. He has a lot of pain right here, and his sole is dropped, like the arch in your foot. So what I'm gonna do is, take away that soreness. A lot of horses, race horses, pleasure horses, riding horses, thoroughbreds, quarter horses, hunter jumpers. In time, their feet get flat and their soles drop as they get older. Especially race horses, because they go so fast and so hard. So as they get older, their feet get flatter and sore, just like people. This horse is eight years old. He's a good race horse, he's tough but he has feet problems. For years with bar shoes, it's helped many horses with sore feet. We take the pressure away with the pad like that to relieve the, this corner. And with a, with a new slapper pad, we can eliminate all that just by giving them cushion. And with this pad design, they don't slip. I got my knobs here and my grooves. And the shoe goes on here. I'll demonstrate that next. Mount it to the pad. Like so. We cut the heels off. Like so. And then we ribbon it on and nail it on. The outer edge of the pad that you just trim or grind the pad to fit the shape of the foot. Looking for fit, and it seems to be a little too wide. I got to cut a little off. Now what I'm going to do here is nail the shoe on. The 
Vince Horse has had problems with his feet for many years. Like a lot of race horses, like I said earlier, and older horses, their feet get flatter and sore as they get older. Nice about the pen. It's light, very durable, and it wears good. I'm just filing to fit the contour of his heel. Of course, his name is Tizer. By the way, the difference in these two feet now, the foot I did and the other one is not done yet. How much more angle I got behind, that cushion on his heel instead of this the shoe. Can you see that? See the cushion? And again, this is for any type of horse. Riding horse, show horse, pleasure horse, hunter jumpers, trotters, pacers, thoroughbreds, quarter horses. They all have foot problems. Leon, this would be a, a before and before and after picture of these two front feet. I've met and we've dealt with my wife and I. Uh, Marguerite was in South Florida recently, uh, and we looked at the slapper, Mike's new pad, and he asked me to say a couple of things about it. And from my experience, I've used the slapper in South Florida with race horses on. Uh, we have somewhat of a limestone surface and they've worked really well on the standard breads. I've also uh, used them in middle Georgia. Uh, my wife and I have a company there that uh, we're interested in moving some of this uh, product, uh, the new pad. It, it's taken the place of a flapper or uh, uh, a new version of the pads in other words. But anyways, I've used them in Georgia, Florida, in Georgia, we get a lot of red clay and when it gets wet, it's sloppy. And these pads here, they seem to clear themselves and they work, um, they work well from anything to a trail horse. I've used them on uh, quarter horses that had bad feet. It's a multi-purpose, multi-pad that we've seen to work real, has worked really well with um, different athletes, equine athletes and what they do. But um, I think that this pad has a real uh, quite a bit of potential on, on uh, replacing the flip-flop or the flapper or another version but um, anyways it's really worth taking a look at and I think Mike has done a Mike Cable has done a nice job and I'm gonna promote it the best I can thanks This is a three-year-old filly. Her name is Fly Italia. And uh, yesterday when I took her to Mike, she was, she was uh, so lame she could hardly walk. She looked like she was broken bone lame. We went over and put those pads on, trimmed the foot, put the pads on, came back, came back to the barn tail up in the air and trotting something she had never done. She, uh, she always paced. Now she'll pace, trot, and uh, she feels good. Went back in the stall and started eating right away. She hadn't been eating for a day. And this has happened to me twice now, two different horses. I believe I had the first pair ever on a mare, a three-year-old filly called Hardy Girl. Same problem, bad feet and very, very lame and same result. Uh, I'd recommend those uh, pads to anybody who has a sore-footed horse. I've been in the business a long time. I'd hate to tell you how many years and uh, kind of tell you my age. And uh, I've never seen anything that could help a horse as much as uh, these pads have. That's my opinion. And I'm to it. Here we are with a horse fly tire. Mr. Alban just told you what happened with her yesterday. She's racing tonight. Yesterday she was extremely sore, could hardly walk. 
job sound yesterday and she's going to race tonight. This is a smaller version of the slapper pad. She, as you can see, she's not a very big horse, but mighty. And uh, we'll see how she races tonight. A slapper pad on the right front of Hunter. I just want to show you the difference and how much more support he gets just from the back view with the slapper pad compared to a, a regular shoe, etc. This gives him more angle, more support, and less chance for injury on soft tissues like his tendons or his pasture and his knee, shoulder. I just, if you could see that difference here in the video. Putting a little shoe polish on and seal up the old holes and around the nail holes. And, and also make the look, job look done, complete. And that's it. Right. Now, now I can show you, compared to the foot before we put the slapper pad on, how much more support I gain in angle on these two front feet than it was with just a regular shoe. Can you see that? Okay, thank you for your time. Hello. Um, I've been in the horse training business for 20 years. This is my horse, Hunter. Um, Mike Cable had put the slapper shoes on him today and I did notice a very big difference in him being lighter. Off his forehand, he felt a lot more comfortable around the turns. Uh, I've had a problem with him being tender-footed in the corners, and I noticed a humongous difference in that. Uh, he was very comfortable. He had a good feel of the ground, and apparently he had more cushioning, so he was more comfortable being down on his front end.